Hi guys and welcome to my channel Carnival of Creativity. Today's try something new video is going to be the terrazzo trend which I have seen so much in my magazine subscriptions recently and on Pinterest as well and I saw it a lot before I even knew what it's called so if you don't know what terrazzo is it's that sort of speckled like overlaid like random shapes I don't know if I'm explaining this whatsoever, let's just get into the process. So to start off with, you can do this two ways, I'm showing you with clay and with paint. So the first way with clay, you just want to grab some white clay or whatever you're using as your base of clay, here I'm using oven baked clay and I'm also mixing some other sort of natural and warm tones with the clay so I've got the terracotta -y sort of colour, um, some light yellow to make like a pale beigey colour, um, some silver, some black, a little bit of like a browny sort of colour and yeah basically what you want to do is pick apart these little colour pieces of play, clay so you have little tiny speckles and then roll your white clay out a little tiny bit Pop these speckles randomly dotted all over your white clay in whatever pattern you like. I just literally dab, 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 dab for each colour and overlapped a few as well to give it that extra little look. And then once you've done this, you want to grab your rolling pin. I don't have a rolling pin. This was a effervescent container, but we'll talk about that another time and just roll on top of it to your desired size now you can use this clay for absolutely anything you can use it for coasters, for key rings those are the two that I did you could also, I've seen it with napkin rings and endless possibilities of things to make out of this clay but that's how you can achieve the terrazzo look with clay then the next way you can do it is by paint. So I started off by making this lamp um, and to do that I just grabbed a ice cream container, hot glued my um, lamp fixing into the bottom of it and then made up some plaster of Paris. This also works with concrete, I didn't have concrete, I had plaster of concrete or plaster of Paris um, to the the consistency that it says on the back of how to make it, follow your instructions. Um, mine was um, half the amount of water to the amount of powder. Then I mixed this all up and filled up my container all the way over all of the fixing of the lamp. So once this is dry, and it took about an hour to dry, um, I peeled off the Ben and Jerry's container and was left with the concrete lamp base. So now what you want to do, now that you've got the thing that you're going to be working on, is grab some paint. I decided to do this with different shades of black, grey and white, because if you see my house guys, I like my grey. It's not news, let's face it. So um, I started off with the black and I made a little stencil out of some card and a, um, a craft knife and a cutting mat so you just want to go in with your craft knife and cut out different sort of rectangles and um, triangles and things all dotted around in a pattern and then use this stencil as your stencil for the paint so I started off with the black dabbing this in and around and you just want to repeat this with all the different colours slightly moving the stencil or turning it around or having it on, on an angle so that the shapes appear different and less uniform that really is how simple it is guys and the end product I think looks really really cool so if you like this video please make sure to subscribe and I will see you all next time bye guys